Getting a relaxer would turn out to be the worst decision ever for not only my hair, but possibly even my life. What exactly am I talking about, do you ask? Well, Jennifer Mitchell, a 32-year-old black woman who was diagnosed with uterine bladder cancer at the age of 28, resulting in her uterus being removed, has filed a lawsuit against companies like L'Oreal and other companies that have made billions off the backs of black women all over the world. You are watching Vigilante TV. Welcome to my channel. Welcome. And thank you for being here. First things first, if you haven't watched part one, you might want to exit now and catch up and then come back. The link for part one you can find in my description box, but it's entirely up to you. For those of you who have already watched part one, I hope you're really taking this all in and fully grasping the severity of the situation. You or a loved one might be owed compensation for years or lifetimes of pain and suffering. Although no amount of money can replace your loved one or take away the pain you may currently suffer, at the very least, it could help make your life a little easier in the now. So again, please make sure you share, share, share. I cannot express the importance of sharing. We need to let everybody know about this information because we literally have all used it. This was a staple in our homes. I also must say that I'm here to bring awareness, give my opinion, share my own experience, and point you in the right direction. I am not a lawyer by any stretch of the imagination, so please make sure if this bombshell information affects you or a loved one in any way, please seek legal counsel immediately. But don't worry, I've included links in my description box for you to just simply click on to see if you qualify for this class action lawsuit. And fear not. Even if these attorneys don't have offices in your city, some have associates they will refer you to and some are nationwide. Also, this is done on a contingency basis so you won't have to pay a dime unless they get money for you. Kind of like Edgar Snyder. Now without further ado, let's get into part number two, shall we? <laughs> Uterine cancer is relatively rare, making up a little more than 3% of new cancer cases a year according to the National Cancer Institute. Yet cases are on the rise in the United States, especially among black women. There's nearly 50 to 75 years of science out there showing that using chemicals that interact with estrogen levels during adolescence gives you an even higher risk of having complications either for fertility, for cancers, for anything really at a young age. So a lot of what people are finding when they started looking at these cases is these are women who started using the product before the age of 15, who often have some sort of complete or total infertility, hysterectomy, some sort of invasive procedure to address the complications or the cancer that they have before the age of 30. It's important to note that chemical hair straighteners and relaxers are widely used across the United States and are primarily marketed to African American women, black women. Now these products are involved in multi-district litigation for the toxic chemicals contained within them, often labeled as fragrance. Now this isn't the first time L'Oreal and other relaxer companies have made headlines. Back in 2016, TMZ and several other news outlets reported a black woman by the name of Delisha Taylor suing L'Oreal for their Optimum Legend Relaxer, which features an ingredient called Amla. This product was marketed to bring back life to severely damaged hair and make it visibly thicker and fuller. However, this product that was once endorsed by Michelle Obama's hair stylist left Alicia with a burned head, blistered scalp, and severe hair loss. This product also was marketed with two beautiful spokeswomen, one who probably doesn't even use it, and the other who's in for a huge wake-up call. Who am I talking about? Cynthia Bailey from Bravo's Real Housewives franchise represented this product in sheer runway fashion. Coincidentally, 50 Cent, as they call her, was very vocal about her battle with chronic uterine fibroids on the show. I'm curious to know if Miss Bailey will stand in solidarity with L'Oreal 
when she finds out about the NIH's recent study, or join the fight with us. Only time will tell. Now let's get back to it. Manufacturers faced lawsuits for failing to warn consumers about potential side effects such as fibroids, uterine cancer, endometriosis, breast cancer. You know, it's almost as if these manufacturers were trying to entice an entire generation into sterilization. Talk about a handmaiden's tale. Whew. These are all part of our womb. Part of what makes us a womb man. It's part of our body that makes us feel that feminine connection, you know? So it is important to us. Regardless of how other people may feel, our uterus is something that is near and dear to us and part of what makes us a woman. Feel like a woman, you know? So this video is a call of action for any of you who have felt like Jennifer, who have been robbed like my dear sister, who have suffered like me. Yes, that's right, me. I myself have suffered from horrible and painful ovarian cysts from my early 20s till now. And on top of that, three years ago, I was diagnosed with endometriosis and had about three surgeries in one entire summer. We don't deserve this. And what makes matters worse is the horrible way black women are treated by healthcare workers and hospital staff. I have been a victim of discrimination in a hospital on three separate occasions. And let me tell you, it does not feel too good. It's something not to sleep under the rug. And I have stayed silent for way too long. And you know what? I've been learning that if you hold stuff in, it literally can form a cancer inside of you. A cancer so powerful that it will take you out. And I choose to live. I have a story or two. No, actually three, I can tell. My stories will send literal chills down your spine. Now, I try to find the silver lining intertwined throughout life's experiences. I guess you can say I'm a glass half full rather than empty type. However, being discriminated against and having to go up against a group of power-hungry, money-grubbing, certified United Liars, it almost broke me. Nobody, and I mean nobody, should have to experience what I went through. My joy, my, my peace of mind, and my life were all at stake. And honestly, I must have had somebody put roots on me or had a huge karmatic deck because I was hit with grenade after grenade after grenade. I lost almost everyone that I loved during this time. Family, extended family, immediate family, and the friends who became family. I never got a chance to say goodbye. But enough melancholy stuff. Let's get to my silver lining, shall we? The only thing good I got from experiencing evil firsthand via discrimination was it led to my spiritual awakening. Because I was experiencing one of the biggest health scares of my life and I chose to walk out of the hospital against medical advice rather than stay and continue to be mistreated, I had to learn how to care for myself, how to take care of myself, take care of my own unique body by myself. Because it is possible. You don't need doctors. You don't need all that medicine. And quite frankly, a lot of that medicine actually does more harm than good. In case you didn't know. But that's an entire different story for another day, okay? We definitely will touch base on discrimination against black women in the hospitals and how wrong it is because this is not just something I dealt with. I'm sure lots of you have been faced with it. I've seen stories and it's tragic and very, very sad. But today, right now, for any black woman who has clinically been diagnosed by a medical care professional or a licensed naturist or homeopathic healer, of any of these things that I have listed or anything remotely close that has to do with your health and you think it relates to chemical hair straighteners, please go to the link in my description box and see if you qualify for this class action lawsuit. 
And it's, it's quite ironic that this is all happening right now because I, I recall before my mom passed away, I recall saying to her, how could they do this to us? I knew before this study was even released that chemical relaxers were not good. How could something be good that you literally have to put gloves on your hands to even touch it? And then you literally have to put it on your hair at the root and you're not supposed to let it touch your scalp, but it literally ends up touching your scalp. I mean, there's no way you could prevent it from touching your scalp. It's just something that happens. So that toxic elixir ends up seeping through the pores into your bloodstream and does something because our bloodstream is not supposed to have that toxicity in it. So it could mutate our cells or... I just knew it wasn't okay. Is anything that will touch your skin for a split second and leave a chemical burn? That is not healthy inside your body. No way, no sir, no can do. And I feel so bad because the irony of my mom passing was, it was built on her trust with the medical system and people that she really, really just believed in. But they never made her aware that she was just being a guinea pig, being tested on, that nobody in her condition had had what she had going on, had gone through what she went through Okay, I don't want to talk about it, but there's just a lot of irony there. But I will say, since she's passed, my life will never be the same. Here's something we have to remember. We don't die. We are energy, so we transform. So, before I wrap up, anyone interested in learning how to take care of your body, your own unique personal self, because no two people have the same genetic makeup, DNA, nothing. We are all unique. But I encourage you to follow Yaki Awakened. He is a master, a master at breaking down the body and the, the sciences behind it. And if you have a specific diagnosis, what he'll do is he'll get your blood work and he'll tailor a plan after he figures out why this happened to you, because knowing why this happened to you is the first part. But he will tailor a plan specifically for your DNA and genetic makeup to help you get better. And it includes removing a lot of stuff from your diet and a lot of poisons from your home. Because 95% of the stuff in our homes are very, very toxic, highly toxic. They shouldn't even be allowed near us. That's how toxic these things are. If you are like kind of iffy on the side of exploring natural medicines, that's okay. But if you're a black woman and you you really want proper care and not not have your pain negated or minimized, there actually is a group of women who have put together a clinic called TIA, T-I-A, TIA. TIA clinics are personally tailored to women and aim to meet all of our intimate healthcare needs without making us feel small, illiterate, a burden, etc. All of those provincial things that might have deterred you from going to your local healthcare professional. You know, they've also designed their clinic in a way that makes it obtainable to minority women of all social classes. Plus, they are super cute, modern, inviting, friendly, and accommodating. I honestly could see myself renting out one of their reception areas to host a toy party, a candle party, a spa party. <laughs> That's just the way I am. But that just goes to show you how super cute and chic they are. Now, make sure you look them up. They're in most of the major cities, but even if they aren't yet in a city near you, they also offer telehealth, which is an innovative way for doctors to meet with patients that started booming during the pandemic. It's done virtually, so you literally can have a doctor's appointment from the comfort of your own home, which is extremely convenient if you ask me. 
it would be wise to look up to you and see if they are somewhere close to you. So the next time you have a health issue come up, you can get some equal and fair treatment. And like I said, even though we're strong, we still bleed. Make sure that you pass this along to any black woman, your mother, your cousin, your friend, your sister, anybody who you you think might have had a relaxer or been exposed to many relaxers in their lifetime. Now, these relaxers are still on the shelves of stores. Everybody has access to them, which I don't understand. Something this toxic and this this fragile to handle should not be allowed for everybody to get their hands on. It should only be handled by professionals, if you ask me. Which brings me to my conclusion and solution. It's time for justice. I think we can all agree on that. I'm guessing almost the entire black community has been directly or indirectly impacted by the National Institutes of Health's findings. Because, let's face it, chemical straighteners have been such a staple in our households for over a century. Some of us have wrongfully lost loved ones and have even suffered misfortunes of our own. This is a pivotal moment and it's time to take a stand. This is not a time to think about what the consequences of our actions look like for these companies because I highly doubt they cared or gave two f**ks about the consequences of what their toxic straighteners were doing to us and our hair. Yet somehow, I feel these companies won't be brought to their knees because of this lawsuit. But I hope they don't just plan to take their products off the shelves for a few months until the heat dies down, because that just won't do. So here's what I propose L'Oreal and its subsidiaries do if they plan to keep their brands alive after this scandal. Firstly, I would call to order a press conference so the CEO can publicly apologize to all of us affected by their negligence and greed. Second, I would have the chemists begin researching natural ingredients that work well with our specific and unique hair textures. Our hair is like a plant. It needs proper nourishment so it could flourish and bloom organically, kind of like a flower. All of those harsh chemicals haven't done us any favors. Most of us went from having luscious thick locks to thinning broken down strands due to relaxers. And those of us waking up and discovering our true nature and have tapped into the beauty and essence of our hair in its raw, natural state? What I'm saying is, the majority of us have embraced our curls and stopped using relaxers. So please don't think slapping a consumer warning label is going to help this issue. Which brings me to my final solution. Do us and yourselves a favor and take these toxic boxes off of the shelves. Make them available for purchase by licensed professionals only. This way, if anything goes wrong, accountability will lie in the hands of the professionals. I rest my case. And if you know somebody who works for any of these companies, don't blame them. Because they probably didn't know. Because they, they are just ambassadors. They just try to sell the product. But it probably would be a good, good idea to start knowing what's in the stuff that you sell to people and promote for people because they might be hurting people that you love, you know? But anyways, thanks for watching my video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I definitely wanna know how you feel about this. This is something major, and it's something that, have, that has probably affected you more than you even know. The price for beauty, wow, it should not be deadly.